In New Jersey, the jewelry store burglaries that have cropped up in the tri-state now hitting the Garden State in a big way. Yeah, so far, a dozen stores hit in 12 different communities, and it is looking like they're all connected. I would News reporter Michelle Charles with the story. She's live in Union Township for us. Michelle. It is, it is so frustrating, frustrating for these jewelry store owners. Thousands of dollars worth of jewelry has now been taken. And these are family owned. This is a father and son business that I'm standing in front of. These are family owned businesses. Uh, this is the jewelry exchange on Route 22 in Union. Been around 25 years. They spent a lot of money. They've got these concrete barriers to make sure nobody can drive through the front of their store. They have a very nice lock system, surveillance cameras. But as you're about to see, on the surveillance video, it took literally seconds, some disguises, and a sledgehammer to get in. Clear pictures of four men breaking in at four in the morning and stealing jewelry. Problem is, these are also clear shots of the hoodies, masks, and gloves they're wearing to conceal their identities. Unfortunately, they had hoodies on, masks, probably ski masks, gloves, so nothing there. You can't really tell. Nothing there we can see. So they broke the window. They ran in and they just went through drawers and different parts of the store just trying to grab whatever they can. Did they get the safe or anything? No. In all, the four men were there less than four minutes and the plate on the white Jeep they used was visible on camera, but that car was stolen and the plate too, it was taken from another car. We had officers right across the highway on Route 22, so they responded within seconds and saw a white Jeep leaving. They chased it again to Newark and uh, they lost it. And uh, we had officers go to the scene where they had a possible plate and discovered a plate for that Jeep is missing. The resident was home and asleep, and the investigation showed it's two different Jeeps. Police say this is always the same M.O. lately, always stolen Jeeps and jewelry stores. Investigators have connected now a dozen robberies in different towns around New Jersey over the last 10 days. As far as they know, this started June 2nd. And the group always has hit family owned places. This is another local family jewelry store that was hit, Trimarco Jewelry on Springfield and Maplewood, also hit around four this morning. Someone was there cleaning up glass when we came by. There are bars on the windows, but the robbers smashed the lower glass panels on the front doors to get in. Also a family business. That's unfortunate. Yeah. And I feel for them. Again, all of these uh, smash and grab robberies have been happening uh, in the middle of the night or four o'clock in the morning. In this case, uh, no one has been hurt. Thank goodness. Police ask if you know who these men are, please call them.